Roger Penrose's analogy of picking the right card out of an immense deck vividly illustrates his view of the universe's initial conditions. He contends that the precision with which the universe began is staggering, akin to selecting a specific card from a billion card deck. This analogy encapsulates the improbability of such exactness, quantified as one part in 10 to the 10 to the 123rd power. This number, requiring a 123 zeros just to write out, highlights the incredibly fine-tuned nature of our universe. While some interpret this precision as evidence of intelligent design, scientists explore alternative theories such as the multiverse or cyclic universes. These ideas suggest that our universe is just one of many, possibly existing in a continuum of rebirths or alongside parallel universes. This concept challenges traditional views of cosmic origins, proposing instead a complex tapestry of interconnected universes. This idea proposes that our universe could be just one among many, each experiencing countless cycles of renewal. However, there's more to consider. This future state could mark the beginning of the next cosmic era, akin to a Big Bang event. The evidence supporting this is robust, with a confidence level of 99.980%. This raises the intriguing question, how can the future evolution of an expanding universe mirror the dramatic origins of its inception? To know more, stay with us till the end of this video. In the early 1950s, the steady state model of the universe captivated the scientific community. This theory proposed that the universe had no beginning and remained unchanging over time. According to the steady state model, as the universe expanded, it continuously replenished itself with hydrogen gas, maintaining a consistent density. This idea suggested a perpetual universe with no need for a starting point, fitting well with the notion of an eternal cosmos. However, the steady-state model faced significant challenges in the 1960s. Physicists Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson discovered the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, a faint glow of radiation that permeates the universe. This radiation, coming uniformly from all directions, was a critical piece of evidence supporting the Big Bang theory. The CMB indicated that the universe began with a massive explosion, contradicting the steady-state model's premise of a constant, unchanging universe. The discovery of the CMB shifted the cosmological consensus towards the Big Bang theory. According to this model, the universe began approximately 13.8 billion years ago with a tremendous explosion that set it into motion, followed by an initial rapid expansion. This inflationary epoch, occurring in the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang, helps explain the vast and uniform cosmos we observe today. The theory of inflation accounts for the large-scale structure of the universe and the uniformity seen in the CMB. Despite the strong evidence supporting the Big Bang theory, the question of whether the universe truly had a beginning remains. For centuries, many believed in an eternal and unchanging universe. Even Albert Einstein initially supported this view, introducing the cosmological constant into his equations to allow for a static universe. However, Einstein later considered this his biggest blunder after Edwin Hubble's observations confirmed that the universe is expanding, thus validating the idea of a dynamic, evolving cosmos. Today, the prevailing cosmological narrative begins with the Big Bang, followed by a period of rapid inflation. This inflationary phase is crucial for explaining the universe's large-scale structure and the observed uniformity in the cosmic microwave background. Phenomena like supernovae also support the idea of an ongoing expansion, aligning with the inflationary model. However, some cosmologists propose that inflation may have occurred even before the Big Bang, challenging conventional wisdom. Particle physicist Gabriele Veneziano 
introduced a speculative framework rooted in string cosmology, suggesting that an inflationary phase might have preceded the Big Bang. In Veneziano's model, this pre-Big Bang inflation arose from the natural symmetries of string theory, occurring in a universe initially uneven and undergoing significant changes. This idea challenges the traditional understanding of the Big Bang as the absolute beginning, proposing instead that our universe's inflationary phase was part of a broader, more complex cosmic history. The discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation marked a pivotal shift from the steady-state model to the Big Bang theory. Current research, including studies of inflation and string cosmology, continues to deepen our understanding of the universe's origins. These investigations aim not only to explain the observable universe's structure and expansion, but also to address the profound question of whether the universe had a definitive beginning or if it existed in some form prior to the Big Bang. Roger Penrose introduces a distinctive perspective on the universe's evolution. He conceptualizes the current state of the universe, encompassing inflation, expansion, and accelerated expansion as merely one episode in a sequence of such epochs termed eons. In Penrose's conformal cyclic cosmology, CCC model, each eon represents a distinct phase in an infinite cycle of cosmic renewal. According to CCC, our present eon began with the Big Bang, but contrary to traditional inflationary models, Penrose posits that the universe expanded continuously from this explosive origin without a separate inflationary phase. Instead, he describes a perpetual exponential expansion that characterizes each eon. What makes Penrose's model especially thought-provoking is his suggestion of a preceding eon that ended with an exponential expansion so extreme that it appears to us as the inflationary period preceding our own Big Bang. This concept challenges the linear sequence of time as commonly understood in cosmology, proposing a cyclical nature where each eon follows the next in an endless cycle of birth, expansion, and eventual cooling. Penrose's hypothesis raises profound questions about the nature of time and the beginning of the universe. It suggests that what we perceive as the beginning and end points of cosmic epochs may be interconnected in ways that transcend our current understanding of causality and chronology. The CCC model also addresses the issue of entropy, proposing that each new eon begins with a low entropy state that facilitates the formation of galaxies, stars, and ultimately, conditions suitable for life. In essence, Penrose's conformal cyclic cosmology challenges traditional views of cosmological beginnings and opens up new avenues for exploring the universe's deep mysteries. It invites us to consider a universe not bound by a singular origin event, but perpetually cycling through phases of creation and renewal, each offering unique insights into the fundamental forces and structures that govern our existence on cosmic scales. Penrose suggests our Big Bang was the outcome of a far future of a previous eon. This idea challenges conventional thinking, but reflects a pattern where each eon starts hot and dense, expands, cools, enters exponential expansion, and eventually becomes extremely cold over unimaginably vast time frames spanning Google years. In Penrose's model, each eon cycle lasts Google years, with photons being the enduring actors, transcending time to infinity. This concept proposes that our universe's distant future expansion could resemble conditions akin to another Big Bang, suggesting our Big Bang continues a previous eon's exponential expansion. Roger Penrose's conformal cyclic cosmology, CCC, presents a provocative reimagining of the universe's origins and evolution, challenging traditional cosmological paradigms with its cyclic framework. At the heart of Penrose's theory lies the concept of eons, 
distinct epochs of cosmic history separated by Big Bang-like events that reset the universe's state through conformal transformations. This cyclical model posits that each eon begins with a phase resembling our universe's inception, suggesting an endless chain of interconnected cosmic epochs. Central to CCC is the idea of conformal transformations, which reset the gravitational degrees of freedom and result in a low entropy state at the start of each new eon. Penrose argues that these transformations are crucial for explaining the observed highly ordered conditions at the Big Bang and throughout subsequent cosmic evolution. This concept contrasts sharply with the prevailing view of a universe that began in a singular event with no preceding history, offering a framework where the universe's current state is intimately linked to its past cycles. One of the intriguing aspects of CCC is its treatment of the Big Bang, not as a singular beginning from nothingness, but as a transitional event between eons. Penrose suggests that the conformal continuity from one eon's end to the next beginning implies a deeper, cyclical structure to the universe's timeline. This cyclic nature not only challenges the concept of a definitive origin, but also opens up avenues for understanding cosmic evolution over potentially infinite timescales. Penrose's introduction of Erebans, theoretical particles hypothesized to explain dark matter's gravitational effects, further enriches CCC's explanatory power. Named after Erebus, the Greek primordial deity symbolizing darkness, these particles could decay between eons, releasing energy possibly in the form of gravitational waves that could influence the transition and characteristics of subsequent eons. This speculative yet intriguing hypothesis underscores Penrose's holistic approach to cosmological theory, where physical phenomena like dark matter are integrated into a broader narrative of cosmic cycles. Roger Penrose's conformal cyclic cosmology, CCC, presents a comprehensive framework to explore cosmological mysteries, particularly the intricacies of initial conditions observed at each Big Bang. CCC proposes a cyclical universe where each eon starts with a Big Bang, progresses through cosmic stages, and ends with matter converting into massless particles via Hawking radiation. This cyclic model posits that the universe's finely tuned structure emerges naturally from conformal transformations, challenging deterministic views of cosmic origins. Integrating rigorous science with philosophical inquiry, CCC invites reflection on time's role and the universe's complexity, fostering a holistic approach to understanding cosmic evolution and existence. Roger Penrose's exploration of fine-tuning, particularly in the context of dark energy density, underscores its pivotal role in determining the conditions necessary for life in our universe. He posits that the precise balance of dark energy is crucial. Even slight deviations could lead to scenarios where galaxies fail to form or environments suitable for life never arise. This perspective aligns with the anthropic principle, suggesting that the parameters we observe in the universe are finely tuned because our existence depends on them, a concept likened to winning an extraordinary cosmic lottery. Penrose carefully avoids solely attributing this fine-tuning to an intelligent designer, despite acknowledging its remarkable improbability. Instead, he proposes that the specific conditions of our universe may be intrinsic to its own physical laws and initial state. His analogy between understanding the construction of a house and comprehending the universe's mechanisms highlights his viewpoint. Just as understanding the steps of construction doesn't negate the role of an architect, understanding cosmic parameters doesn't rule out a purposeful design. Penrose's contemplation of a potential transcendent creator encourages philosophical inquiry rather than providing definitive answers. 
His approach invites reflection on the interplay between scientific inquiry and theological considerations, resonating with broader discussions on cosmic order, humanity's place in the cosmos, and the fundamental nature of existence itself. In essence, Penrose's work navigates the intricate tapestry of cosmic origins by blending scientific rigor with philosophical contemplation, urging a nuanced exploration of the universe's profound mysteries and challenging us to reconsider foundational assumptions about the cosmos. The analogy comparing chess strategies to cosmological theories illustrates science's evolving nature. Traditional views of the Big Bang as the universe's beginning are challenged by theories suggesting pre-existing space and time. These ideas spark fresh exploration, encouraging rigorous testing and fostering deeper understanding of cosmic origins and complexities. What's your think about this? Do you think behind the creation of the universe there is a higher power, or you believe in a more scientific approach to look at things which are still to be understood by us humans? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like our video if you learned something interesting from it, and subscribe to our channel for a steady stream of captivating content.